Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play of Terraria. Um, I know I've been a little bit lax in um, making videos for this. Um, but it's because I've been uh, about playing um, Guild Wars 2 and uh, a bit of StarCraft 2 towards the end of um, the third season 2012 of uh, StarCraft. So. Yeah, so sorry I haven't uh, added these. Oh my god. Where is my house? Did I not save? What the fuck? Is that where my house was? That's not where my house was. My house was up. Was it? Where was it? No, it definitely wasn't here. I think it was left. I think I went left. Yeah, so um, I had a pretty good end of uh, the third season. Um, I... Uh, yeah, we, uh, me and my uh, 2v2 partner um, managed to get to first place in uh, in the Bronze League that we're in. I mean, it probably doesn't sound good for anyone that plays StarCraft, but uh, yeah, it was pretty. We were pretty chuffed with it because it was some some of the hardest games that I well certainly I've ever played. Um, you know, where where there was a chance of me winning. Um, I played last night uh, while doing that, and so it was real good fun. Really enjoyed it, um, and came out with w exactly what I wanted in the end. Uh, the first place rank that goes into my career stats, and that's great because it just looks awesome. Wicked found my house, um, and it looks like I didn't put any way of um, getting back in. And where is wood wall? What is it? Dirt block. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get this number nine up. Yes. Okay. Right. What I wanted to do today in Terraria was basically um, mine up some copper and try and get uh, try and get to to like getting that sort of armor. So I've got five copper at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna have a little look in some caves and try and uh, come out with some some decent stuff. But also, I want to make a bed, and I don't know how to make a bed because I have completely forgotten. Um, so I'm gonna. I know the guide tells you how to do stuff or how to craft stuff, or he, at least he used to. So I'm gonna head back over towards him and see what he has to say. And I'm gonna pick up some of this mine on the, uh, some of this copper and iron and all shiz like that on the way. Right, watch out for this blue slime over here. I got your iron. So this blue slime is just gonna come right on top of me. Uh, I thought that was gonna be a bit sketch in the end. Oh, I got the green slime. Wanted to do the same. They all want a piece of the pie. Right, let's get out. Let's get out! Okay, what we got? What we got? What's that? Just a bit of different earth. Okay, um, I might mine some trees while I'm here as well. Um, oh, one thing I think they've added since, since I played it a while back is uh, enchantments or not necessarily I'm not sure if they, you'd call them enchantments but um, definitely what is it you have like special things that come up when you craft items special attributes of the item so if I just get a chance to mouse over these here so I got a wooden sword it's just called wooden sword copper axe godly copper pickaxe so that's kind of what I'm talking about so what is the benefit of it being godly I think it's the green stuff at the bottom so it says plus 25% damage plus 5 critical strike chance and plus 15 knockback I think that's uh, that's the deal that's the big deal with this um, is that I think this was something I crafted in the last one or maybe it's just one that came up and I've got strong wooden hammer and frenzying wooden bow so slightly quicker, a bit less damage. Yeah, so they've added these kind of random attributes that your that your stuff can get. So let's talk to this boss. Um, am I talking to him now? Is that what I'm talking to? Uh, brother. 
they say the first and tell you how to survive in this land. Oh wait, that's me. Crafting. So what's going on here? Do you wanna do you wanna teach me something? Teach me how Teach me how to craft, bro. Ah, place material here. Okay, so required objects furnaces. So I need to grab some furni. And I think as in uh, the fabled game that we all that we all know that this is often considered similar to. Um, we need stone for that. So I'm gonna grab some stone. Might go have a little walk to the right. Um, just before well, just after midday. So um, I'll come back when it's when the sun's sort of like over this this side. So um, I can do a lot of like exploring over this way and uh, check out whether there's any any stuff to harvest over here that's like relatively easy to get back from. Um, so again, I'm still I'm still looking for copper. I think is this iron? This is more iron. Is is iron before copper? No, it's not. It's not in in any other RPG. So why would it be in this? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Oh, we got some sort of some pots down there. I think they're, they're sort of... What is that? Is that snow? Oh, it is snow! Amazing. Okay. Okay, let's get these down and then hold the high ground. This is always good. Always good strat. And I'm doing 15% more damage with this bad boy. With this godly axe. Ah, oh, wicked! We got a little snow biome. That's really cute. Might actually end up building my house over here. Because it looks quite fun. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get back from here. Um, shit, I need torches. Torches, as they say in the cast. Okay, let's shove one up there. And let's have a little look down here. Um, let's mine that out. Eight. Cool. Silver coin. That's what I'm talking about. Um, right, how am I going to get back up? Maybe I don't get back up. Maybe I just mine through. That's sort of a bit of a hacks way of doing it. Ooh. Okay, cool. Get picking up some stone here. Picking up some stone for the fur and I. Um, I don't think there's... The, in, like we have in other games, uh, which I won't keep going on about. Um, there's there's a benefit to having multiple furni, but um, there's not. I don't think it's the same here. I think the furnace just allows you to um, to craft stuff um, like from your inventory. So there's not really any benefit. So I'm gonna shove up some um, some of these bad boys here and try and avoid this slime. Let's get back out my godly axe. Yeah, boss. Yeah, get down. Get down. Uh, six. Yeah, so please uh, just bear with me when I'm being nubby about stuff, because uh, yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, but I'll be getting this now. Come on, Blue! Come on, come on. Yeah, I might build my cave into the side of this mountain here on the right. That would be pretty cool. Be a bit like, um... oh crap, can't build there. Hmm. Now, how am I going to get up there? Ah, uh, hacks, that's how. Shoop, shoop. Swiftness potion, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I could build inside this, can I? That would be pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, I think that would be quite nice, actually. I just need to... I, what I'm wondering is whether this ground is actually... It is snow, so does that mean I can build snow a snow house? Because that would be pretty cool. Could build like an igloo. Might do that. Um, I think for now, I think my original house is going to be back, um, back where I put it. Uh, and I'm just thinking of tr how to craft a, a bed. So I might, um, I might check that out. Oh, now I'm in desert. That's cool. So let me see how the background changes. Because I saw it change there. I saw you change. Yeah, there we go. 
There it is. Ah, so there's some there's some sort of crossover between them, like a crossfade almost. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. Nice effect. I think there's a jar down there, so I'm gonna just poke in and grab it. Okay, that's great, that's great. I don't wanna I don't wanna get trapped down here by this slime though. So I can see them coming for me. I think I should sort of uh, head back in a sec. I might. Um, I think. I think I'm going to make slightly longer videos with uh, with this because um, we recently upgraded our internet here, which means that I can upload uh, larger videos um, much more easily. So I might. I might just go ahead and make like a make 20 minutes instead of um, instead of 10 minutes. Um, right. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to find too much. Uh, too much more stuff over this way. Is this going to hurt me? No, it doesn't. What of it, Vulch? Come on. Come on! Yeah. Oh, man. Is that corruption? So, corruption is, um... Is, like, an area that, uh... I think corruption spreads. I think it will start... Oh, the music's changed. Okay, I'm getting out of there. Because um, you need you need quite a bit of armor to face the stuff um, that's in corruption. So I'm just going to head back to my uh, my little my little base. And see, if, see how much uh, armor I can make from these... Um, from the copper I found. The pittance copper I found. I may just have to skip straight to... Um, st straight to iron stuff but I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's the way it's done I don't know if that's if like iron is two stages higher or something not quite sure but I'll um, I'll check that out when we get back because I'll probably be able to craft iron uh, some iron stuff as well okay let's shove some more of these uh, roadblock things up here nobody Yeah. Okay, let's get over there. Nice. Oh, I'm not quite tall enough to get on there. Six, six it up. Am I tall enough to get on there? I am. Oh, you green scum. Okay. So, lesser healing potion, swiftness potion, increased movement speed. That's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm going to be aiming to. Um, to like save up potions that I find while uh, while gaining possibly silver armor, and then I'm gonna go for the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, I I'm just gonna be assuming that everything is pretty much as I left it for the start, uh, the starting way of playing this game. Uh, so Eye of Cthulhu first, then there's gonna be the Eater of Worlds. I think is the next one, and. Um, what else after that? Uh, I think after Eater of Worlds, it's oh Skeletron maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I, I'm just going to be sort of like exploring, discovering stuff, and uh, I don't I don't really want to read wikis and find it out. I want to I want to discover it. Um, so I think because I think that'll be a bit more fun. Ooh, I'm very sorry, Bunny. I'm so sorry. My godly, you were no match for my godly pickaxe. Uh, can I? I can kill those as well. Man, I'm just like ruthless with all these, all these little critters. Yay! Hey, house. Hey, my little shack house. It's really just a shed, isn't it? It's just a shed on. Oh man, how do I get up here? Okay, okay. The other thing was I wanted to be able to. Oh, I've got a forge. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, so let's figure out what I'm doing crafting-wise. Okay, I can... I've got an, an arrow stuff, so I could fight off um, those uh, dudes. Uh, the eyes, the, the eyes at night. Ah, oh, vase, that's pretty cool. Bowl, grey brick. Okay, I can build all these, like, sort of uh, aesthetic materials, but I think I'm going to wait until I can uh, build that igloo before I want to really go all out on... Um, on that. So let's build this wooden chair because I think 
if I grab this, if I put this here, oh man, that's annoying. Everyone has this though, every RPG player has this this thing about them that they, they can't let things look weird like that. So I can't just like put this chair the wrong way around. Yeah, it's got to be the right way around. And then I think, now, I've seen in a video that you have to put the face of the guy. Because if you build a room for, if you build a room uh, with light in it, with a table and a chair, um, a NPC can come and live in this room. But I think I've seen that you need to put the picture of that of that person up, and I'm not sure where you get this picture from. Uh, Hotbar unlocked. Oh, I guess you can. Okay, so that's if you don't want to lose any of those things. So is it here, perhaps? Yes, housing. That's great. Okay, wicket. That's awesome. So that tells me. That tells me. Okay, if I'm clicking on that, I guess that now this room is is uh, adequate for the guy to come and live in. So if I break this, does it disappear? It doesn't disappear. Mm, okay, so there's a few reasons that that could be the case. Either they've changed the conditions for what you need in a room, or um, once, he's, once he's in there, it's fine, and uh, he doesn't mind then. Everything's, everything's cool for Seth, the guide, once you've built that. Um, once you've built that, that room originally. Um, okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to get up to my forge and I am going to craft the shit out of these copper bars. And how many was I able to make? I was able to make a massive single one of them. But iron bars, I was able to make tons. Now, what can I make? I can make an anvil. I can make more wooden hammers. I've got all this stuff. Got all this stuff already, so you can even make copper bricks. That's pretty extravagant. Um, okay, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. Oh, I could build a chest. Now that might be useful, actually. I need iron bars for that. And how many have I got? I've got nine. Now, do I want to build a chest? I think I probably do. Even though, in in this. In this game, uh, because uh, in the first episode I played as a soft core character, I can't actually lose any of my items when I die, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, but what I can lose is my money. And because I'm not really going to be buying anything for a little while, I'm just going to sh start shoving all my money back into this uh, chest until, I've, um, until I need more space. So I'm just going to... Oh, cool! I'm just gonna keep um, just gonna keep everything in my inventory until I need it. Um, I might put potions in there as well because I don't really want to use up potions. Um, the only potions I might, or the only things I might keep, are, are these bad boys and uh, and the healing potions. Well, these guys are pissed over here. Um, I might I might do some killing. Might just open a little gap in the wall and then see if I can dig them. Ah, uh, doesn't quite work, does it? Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, buddy. I know you want a piece. So, I'm pretty sure they can't get in now, and I can attack them. So this is just like shooting fish in a barrel, shooting zombies out a wall with a godlike pickaxe. So you see over on the right hand side, there was a little sound then that sounded like pew 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 laser fire. Uh, what that was, was a falling star coming down. Um, and you can see the light just over on the right hand side, uh, just over here, uh, on this tree. So what I want to do, once I've killed these bad boys, is um, get out there and grab that falling star um, before dawn. Because if you wait until dawn, um, then it's gone. It disappears. Am I touching this eye at all? I am touching him every now and again. Well, that might not have been wise at all. Come on, I. I got you, buddy. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. I might have to switch to my bow in a sec. I'm not sure how much damage the bow does, though. I haven't used it before in this game. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
Come on. Ow. Yeah, I can't really take too many hits from those, so um, might just have to jump it. How's my health doing? Health's doing fine. Ah, oh, there's more. Guys, you need to you need to back off. Does my sword do any more damage? It's just a bit slower, isn't it? What's this? It does do a bit more. Come on, keep swinging, man. Oh, man, I am dead. <laughs> shit, shit. Come on, swing like a boss. Oh. So, because I haven't found the bed yet, it means I go all the way back to um, uh, where I was, uh, where my spawn is on top of this little hill here. So I'm going to have to get back in the dark of night. Oh, man, this is sketch. Super sketch. And I got this super jumping guy. Oh! Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna get the falling star. But am I gonna make it past the zombies? Find out next time!